Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a 12 inch block called Wagon Wheel. This block uses half rectangle triangles and over the next few weeks I'm going to be publishing a few of these videos. I really like using half rectangle triangles because they give the illusion of curves as you can see in the mock-up of this block in a quilt, just repeated. What you're going to need for this block, you're going to need two five and a quarter inch squares in background fabric, four three by six inch rectangles in fabric A, And in fabric B and C, you're going to need one five and a quarter inch square, two three by six inch rectangles, and two two and a half inch squares. I've designed this quilt block notebook, which I've published on Amazon. You may find it useful to draw out your blocks in it also. Scan the code and it will take you to my Amazon page. Now, let's get quilting. Making the half square triangles. Begin with the five and a quarter inch squares in background fabric and fabrics B and C. Draw a line across the diagonal on the wrong side of the background fabrics. Pair them right sides together, background to fabric B and background to fabric C. Then sew a seam a quarter inch away from the line on both sides of the line. Then cut along the drawn line. Press the seams towards the darker fabric. Trimming the half square triangles with a standard ruler. Lay the piece under your ruler, lining the diagonal line on the seam. And line the bottom and left edges at just a bit larger than four and a half inches. Trim the right and top edges. Turn the unit round and lay it under your ruler, lining the diagonal line on the seam. Line the bottom and left edges at exactly four and a half inches. And trim the right and top edges. Trimming the half square triangles with a speciality ruler. I like to use the six and a half inch triangle square up ruler by Quilt in a Day. Keep the unit folded and lay the four and a half inch line on the ruler on top of the stitch line. And trim up and down the sides. Making the four patches. Use the two and a half inch squares in fabric B and C. Pair opposite fabrics together and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seams towards the darker fabric. Match the seams, pin and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seams open for a flatter finish. Now 
making the half rectangle triangles with a speciality ruler. I'm using the half rectangle trim tool by Deb Heatherly. And if you do not have one of these tools, then right mouse click on the link above and it will take you to my video on how to make half rectangle triangles with freezer paper. Use the rectangles in fabrics A, B and C. Pair the rectangles as shown. And lay the fabrics in pairs right sides up. Cut the pairs in half across the diagonal as shown for the pairings with fabrics B and C. This is the same process using different fabrics. On a rotating cutting mat, Use the ruler to cut the points off in position A, keeping the pieces in their pairs, and then the points in position B. This is the same process using different fabrics. The pieces should look like this now. Twist the piece and then place right sides together, lining up the notches. Pin and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Then press your seams. Trimming the half rectangle triangles. With the trim tool, use the two by four inch lines. If you're not using this tool, then trim to two and a half by four and a half inches, which is the unfinished size. Place the unit under the ruler so that the lines are within the unit. Lay the HRT under the ruler with the seam under the diagonal line and the cutting lines lined up over the piece. Trim along the top and then rotate the mat to trim all the sides. Offset seams are correct. This accounts for the seam allowance. Block layout. Lay all your pieces out in a block layout. And begin by joining the HRTs together. Press 
press the seams open. Pin in columns. You can right mouse click on the link above and this will open up my video on how to sew perfect points on your quilt blocks. Press the seams towards the half square triangle units. Then join the columns together. Congratulations! You have made the 12 inch wagon wheel quilt block. And when you sew this block together, you get this really lovely optical illusion. I'm going to be doing a couple of more videos using half rectangle triangles. So please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you find out about all my upcoming videos. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.